the Trinity is stable. Coordinates for Hagara locked in. This isn't looking good, fleet. Hold your positions. Sajuk has returned. All systems online. Weapon systems fully charged. Sensors indicate large Vagar forces massing at these locations. The last of the Hagaran defense fleet is engaging the Vagar. They are outnumbered. The Vagar must be eliminated to lift the siege of Hagara. Uh, so here's the juke. Um, first of all, why am I making gun platforms? Which one is making gun platforms? Not you. We need a shit ton of bombers, though. Reporting. Assembly underway. Construction underway. Can I select you for this? Torpedo frigate. Torpedo frigates. Standing by. Torpedo frigates. Acknowledged. Uh, he's making the gun platforms. We need a ton of bombers. Assembly underway. Construction underway. Berths are clear. Acknowledged. Okay, so we need to put bombers at the top of this. The fuck, I just completely fucked this thing. There we go, alright. Destination locked in. What's this guy? Bombers no, no, you complete. need to keep fucking going Understood. here. Standing by. Moving into escort formation. Reporting. Escort I, I always feel like in. this game never Moving quite does what I want it to. Torpedo. So if I remember complete. properly from this mission, Copy. uh, we're gonna need Group that stuff. So, so you can hyperspace around, Strike yep. And also, this is actually pretty cool, the Bombers graphical part of this mission, how we're just over Hagara. I actually like this. It's kind of neat. Probably the best mission so far. Reporting. Group two reinforced. Bomber squadron. And it looks like the... I keep opening up this menu because I'm trying to do the camera, like to move it around, but for some reason it sometimes just opens the movement menu and I don't understand Roger. why. Alright, so you guys just follow this guy Bomber around. Squadron complete. Guard order confirmed. Group two reporting. Alright. Reporting. You are Torpedo part of group one now. Complete. Group two Wait. reinforced. Yeah, okay, there we go. Roger. Escort pattern locked in. Group one reporting. Group one reinforced. Group two standing. So by. yeah, go there. Bomber Actually squadron. there's another bomber Complete. squadron right there. Strike group coordinates locked in. Oh, another destroyer. Group two reinforced. Strike group moving into position. So it looks like yeah, the entire Hagar defense fleet was just kind of eliminated. Four. Reinforced. Basically Guard due to uh, auto scaling. Bomber squadron. We're just gonna head to that guy. Stand by for acquisition and transfer. On our way. Well, I mean, there's like a passive ship right here, but yeah, I don't know. Torpedo frigate complete. Group three standing by. Strike group, prepare for assault. Looks like we have enough now. Multiple mothership class signals detected. These mothership class vessels do not resemble any known Vagar design. 
However, sensors indicate similarities to Bentuzi technology. They are not responding to hails. Stand by for combat. Scans of the hull indicate it's immune to conventional weapons. Bring Sajuk to bear. Bring Sajuk to bear. Bring Sajuk to bear. Okay. That was... Group one copy. That was the worst dialogue I think I've ever heard. Contact. Group two reporting. Cabin pressure dropping. I remember I have to go like Gun over here. Complete. Group two. Strike group coordinates locked in. Acknowledged. It's like that. Trigger lost. And then Strike I'll uh maybe these gun platforms. What? I am moving the camera. Why is it fucking doing whatever? Frigate lost. Alright. What are you guys attacking? These guys sounds pretty good. Actually, fuck. That's a lot of shit. Where's it where's the juke actually? We need to bring him to bear. Dude, okay, so the first part of the dialogue sounds like it was from the last game. Hull breach, hull breach. Analysis indicates the unknown Vega vessels are surface bombardment platforms and are preparing to attack. Dispatch interceptors to target any missiles before they can enter the atmosphere. Missiles must be destroyed before they can reach this debris field. Enemy missile launch sequence confirmed. Frigate lost. Initiating hyperspace. So jump. he's just gonna hyperspace out. Collector under attack. He's like, peace out. We're drawing heavy fire. Group one. Resource collector lost. Group one copies. Group two reports enemy contact. All right, contact. so Sajuk is just hyperspacing wherever now. What the fuck what is this shit? Damage? Why are these guys after me? I have to kill them. We're under fire. Because they're gonna just attack all my ships and kill them. Torpedo frigate complete. All personnel. Why the fuck are there bombers here in the way? Collector taking enemy fire. Exit coordinates confirmed. And so we can see Saju kind of come in right here. Ah, oh, there's a, there you go. You got your low orbit, uh, at, low orbit atmosphere deprivation weapon. And so I, I think you get a couple million knocked up every time one of those gets through. I cannot select him yet though. There you go. Kill that. Strike group under enemy attack. Okay, this is not good. You know what? Torpedo frigate under attack. We need to handle that. Reporting. Group three. I, that these guys will Torpedo handle themselves. Frigate complete. Frigate lost. Hull breach. Hull breach. Okay. Getting handle those two. Torpedo frigate complete. Attacking capital ship. Because I need them to take out okay, the deprivation weapon uh, right here. Strike group coordinates locked in. Strike group prepare for Can assault. Can I focus on that? Copy. Thank you. All right. Collector okay. awaiting orders. Let these guys do aggressive. All personnel. Code red. Strike group to battle positions. Show no mercy. Right. Standing by. Because you're gonna lose a couple Ready. million people at a time. Okay, tell me you guys have this, right? Torpedo frigate complete. Breach and starboard. Something aggressive as well. Strike group, prepare for assault. These guys are very Show slow. Mercy. Group three copies. Why? They appear to be just kind of moving over Torpedo here. Frigate complete. Attack. I want to select here. that. There we go. Contact. Confirmed. We need to Strike kind of micro right position. now. Actually, wait. There. Uh, Strike group reports hostile contact. Isn't this attacking group something? One. Yeah, it is. Group one. We need group, we need group one is completely over. dead. Damage report. Holy shit! Confirmed. Strike group to battle positions. What is wrong with you, group one? Gunship squadron complete. I have to make sure these guys are attacking the proper things here. Looks like they're fine right now. Torpedo frigate complete. Uh, these guys handled their shit. Reporting. Strike group moving into position. Hopefully nothing's getting through because I can't actually tell. Complete. Roger. There we go. Here's one. One planetary bombardment platform destroyed. Group one copies. Repairs initiated. Okay. Ready. Uh, let's get this guy to hyperspace. Let's say Gunship to squadron. this one's actually Complete. really annoying in the back here. So let's go get that guy. Hyperspace coordinates locked in. I'm sorry we can't watch that because I'm fucking one so reporting. distracted with this stuff. Strike group reports hostile contact. Pursuing targets. Group one copies. Resource collector destroyed. Group four under attack. Torpedo frigate complete. Because these guys look like they're fine because they're, they're not distracted by a bunch of super ships here. Because like it's it, it is it is just like the AI here to basically ignore the thing that's going to destroy millions of people. Like, do you trust it? Because I don't. Acknowledged. Group three copies. I hear Sajuk. Receiving fire. Copy. 
We'll get him destroyed. The the I, I I wish I could watch it for you guys, but I can't right now. Torpedo frigate complete. Whatever. They'll, they'll handle whatever here. So I can trust the other one. But I can't trust this one right now. Enemy contact. So Saju will turn around very slowly and handle that. Let me just to make sure that. Ready. Okay, they're kind of going right in on that. Gunship squadron complete. Kind of don't want to lose any people. Lost. Gunship squadron complete. So they say it's been Tuesday technology. I'm not sure why they say that is. I guess because they're dead now that they kind of hijacked the technology. Why are they going all the way in when I told them to? Like I told them to be aggressive, but that's like really that's a stretch to go for. Torpedo frigate complete. Just want them to destroy that. There we are. All right, now go back to over here. Strike group moving into position. I think they aggroed it. Oh no, they, they only aggroed a missile. Group two reports enemy contact. Let me give this guy a group. So you can kind of see him attacking stuff and... I guess he doesn't do very much. Torpedo frigate complete. Or maybe he's still trying to change his positioning. Group two under attack. Are you having issues there, Saju? A little bit of performance anxiety? I think it's bugged out. Moving while engaging. Torpedo frigate complete. I thought, I thought he was supposed to have a main gun. I wasn't paying attention to it before. Luckily, the population is still at like a hundred and something gazillion. Confirmed. Why aren't these guys following this gu these guys? Escorting friendly. Pick your targets. I guess we'll just go over there. Group five reporting. Torpedo frigate complete. Okay. Now can you attack him? Heavy fire confirmed. So he doesn't really care about little puny ships attacking him. Copy. Group one reinforced. Mobile refiner, Torpedo mobile frigate, refinery. Complete. Bomber squadron complete. I guess we won't really Group care. Reporting. I'm trying to watch what this guy's doing. He's doing literally no damage to the. He's still kind of shifting his position. He wasn't able to do it in the other place. Can you kill the planet killer? We're drawing heavy oh, there we go. This is what he's supposed to be doing. Complete. There you go. That's the only thing that will penetrate the, all of these guys, essentially. I don't know why the Bentuzi would have such a technology to destroy planets like this, but hey, you know. What am I to say? Alright. Copy. Torpedo frigate complete. Group 5 reports enemy contact. Bomber squadron complete. Reporting. Strike These bombers are very happy to be up in. here. Reporting. Let's go back Reporting. to Sajuk and watch Strike him finish position. that guy off. Bomber squadron complete. No, we just need the bombers essentially just to handle those guys. I don't know why they look like giant crab things though. I'm sure the Bentuzi had a good good five, good idea in mind for that. So we're just going to take out the, the rest of the, that Vager blockade, and then I'm going to... I'm probably just going to get Sajuk to kill the shipyard since he's just Torpedo here already, and it's complete. a pain in the ass for me to tell him to move anywhere. Pursuing target. But, I mean, he's like taking no damage. Two planetary bombardment platforms destroyed. Confirmed. Strike group coordinates locked in. And of course now they're going they're going straight into the blockade. L luckily, luckily I've already destroyed the fucking planet killer, so. Strike group moving into position. Gun platform complete. Yeah, see this is the problem. Now they've now there's a bunch of assault craft here. Get back, get back. Get back to the gun. Strike group coordinates locked in. Yeah, there's also an assault frigate here now. Strike group coordinates locked in. Let me see if I can get some more ships to come over there. Group one Bombers. Bomber squadron. Okay, unfortunately, I, even though I double clicked that, it was trying to get me to bring something else over. Group two under attack. Yeah, this is a problem. Gun platform complete. Strike group Luckily, the gun platforms in. are here. Strike group coordinates That's very fortunate. I'm just gonna tell these guys to go up here. Is Saju being brought to bear? So like they told the guy to revoice, I guess some of the lines from that, and then like squadron complete. he did it, and then they forgot some lines. That's what that's what it appears like to me. 
the heck is that? This also counts as the blockade. All right, never mind. We're Gun just going to make him hyperspace jump right here. Initiating hyperspace jump. Acknowledged. Strike group receiving fire. Stay calm. These bombers? These would be bombers. Under attack. Bomber squadron complete. Status report. I mean, these guys can just kind of come Gun over here too, complete. as well. Ready. Gun platform complete. Five reports enemy contact. Confirmed. Strike group. Yeah, that's into that's them. So gun platforms did come come in handy complete. after all. Confirmed. I got one. So we have to. We will have to destroy uh, every single thing Five. after Exiting for a bit. And here's uh, here comes the juke. Complete. Engage capital ship. Group one. Battle cruiser under attack. Attack vector laid in. Group five, standing by. You think Sajuk gives a fuck? Cause no, he doesn't. Bomber squadron complete. Service complete. Now, can stop Dollars. chasing that. Enemy Go neutralized. attack these instead. Awaiting orders. I guess these gun platforms did come in position. handy, actually, just for this Striker particular mission. Alright, you need to Striker kill the planet killer first. first. He's very shy about using Group his main gun, I've noticed. Enemy contact. Reporting. Escorting friendly. I think the gun platforms have this, to be honest, actually. Yeah, they do. Thank God for them. It's, it's specifically because they can't move. Which will make them so amazing and they don't aggro anything, actually. Ironically, they've become so much better now. Supporting friendly units. Group one reports enemy contact. All right, Sajuk, this is ha not how you bring Sajuk to bear, Sajuk. Gunship squadron complete. Just turn and shoot at him. Destroyer under attack. Can you? Can you? Can you attack that? Group one under attack. Assume combat stations. Group four under attack. Nope. Enemy neutralized. Away I gotta orders. move back. Moving while engaging. Cause something about the AI just fucking hates it when- Oh wait, here we go. He's just like- he's twisting around it. I didn't think he was gonna shoot at it. Group 5 copies. Alright. Group 5. Five standing by. I mean, that's, there's nothing else there, so we'll just bring the rest over to this blockade. Moving while what, do I, what do I even have Underway. over here? Just gunships? Okay. Yeah, they, you would lose a couple million people if you let these guys Group through, but fortunately I've been actually kind of good and, and actually not allowing them to, to get through, so. Gunship squadron complete. Ironically, gun platforms are pretty good at this, yeah. I, I always use bombers, though, because bombers Ready. at least can move around in case you fuck up somehow. Gunship squadron complete. This is the last Engaging of the beggar, too. Of opportunity. Group two has defeated the enemy. Standing by. The enemy's Strike a bunch of missiles. Wait, wait, wait. Is he not? Sorry, I, I know I told. Fuck. No, no, don't do that. So apparently, he has massive range. I guess I was t teleporting him. Sajuk, attack it. I guess I was teleporting him in a little bit too close. It's kind of neat that your mothership gets replaced with this. It isn't a production vessel, as I said, but, uh. Got a big gun. All right, that's it for that guy. Gunship squadron complete. Group five copies. Move attack confirmed. Yeah, move attack him. Let's see what the heck is over here. Scans confirm the final planetary bombardment platform has been destroyed. Sensors indicate several Vega ships are fleeing to hyperspace. Higara is safe. Victory is ours. Karen became the Sajukar, the chosen one, and custodian of the three. Conflicts that raged for millennia came to an end, and a new age of discovery began.
an age of great wonders and visions. But one secret remained. The Eye of Iran was discovered. It was opened by the power of the three. What lay beyond hushed every voice in the galaxy. The great network of hyperspace gates. An ancient system, perfectly preserved in the void, hidden from view throughout all of history. The age of Sajet has begun. And there you have it, guys. Your Mother Teresa ending. <laughs> the ending is just kind of way too happy. Kinda, I don't know. It's just like, out of nowhere, it's like, oh, and a hyperspace network was opened, and everything's, everything's even better than it was before, all because McCon was defeated. I don't know. Uh, okay, so, what do I think of the game? I didn't like it. Uh... I mean, I wasn't a big fan of Homeworld 1 Remastered, but I think that game stood a lot upon its storyline and things like that. This one, uh, I, you know what, I, okay, when I originally did Homeworld 2, I, I gotta tell you guys, um, I did play all the missions prior, uh, when I originally did Homeworld 2, because I, I wanted to basically, like, do, like, kind of like a so, sort of tutorial walkthrough and kind of show the best kind of way I knew of how to do all the missions and stuff, because I knew it was a slightly difficult game. This one I didn't play before, and I, I like yeah, you're just watching me play through it, kind of blind. Uh, I mean, I played through Homeworld 2 before, so I knew what was going to happen, like especially regarding the planet killers and things like that. So I figured it wouldn't be a big deal, and so I lost probably a little bit more ships throughout the campaign and stuff than I probably would have been loaded like twice. It's it's fine. Uh, I didn't mind that too much. I, as I said, I I think it was just better that I got like a. I just wanted to get like kind of a. A blind impressions kind of appearance of things and it, it worked out fine um, the UI I don't know how it's worse than in homeworld 1 remastered but it is uh, I don't know how I it's the same engine I don't know what was up uh, like I was uh, telling ships to kind of like do things and they would do completely opposite things uh, I you know what you know what I think it is actually I think it was because uh, in homeworld 1 I did not make bombers or really, yeah, you didn't make corvettes really either. I mean, I didn't really make anything. I just made like salvage corvettes and that was it. In this game, I made like just, uh, I, I used a little bit of them. And so I actually noticed the problems like the AI is just god awful for any kind of ships. I like, they're just so bad. Cause they just, they just, they just suicide themselves into the enemy lines every time. Like, they need to stay with the battle group, and they never do. I think I got them to do, like, a zero formation around some of my ships, and then that, that made them not decide to kill themselves, but then they're not, they're not moving around, which, uh, makes them useless anyways, because the whole point of corvettes and fighters is that they kind of evade enemy fire, and if they're stuck in zero formation, they're not evading enemy fire, so. This was god-awful. Uh, and the, the fucking... The, the production quality was really bad. Like, in terms of the dialogue, like, especially in the, in the last mission, um, that was the worst I've ever heard it. Which is basically, they had the guy come in to that do, does a uh, fleet command voice. And they, for, I, they I could tell they forgot to record something. Instead of getting him back in to record, like, the fucking three lines they forgot, they just took it from Homeworld 2. And you could tell, like, there's, like, a sudden drop in the, in the sound quality. Like, come on, just pay the guy. Just pay the guy for what, like, like what, a couple hundred bucks? Get him in there, like, just go like, oh, sorry, shit, we fucking didn't 
record these three lines of dialogue, he'd just go in and do that. And then, like, then the, his his sudden taint, like, the, the sorry, the sudden tone in, in, in his voice changed so drastically. But I think that was a problem in Homeworld 2 as well, so. But they remastered it in a way that they just remade it. So it was pretty bad. Um, I don't, I didn't like this Homeworld remastered stuff, even after the patches and supposed fixes. I think it was all really bad. I just, it was, it was, it, this is the sloppiest, one of the sloppiest RTS games I've ever played. As, that's all I have to say really about Homeworld 2. It just, it, uh, sorry, Homeworld Remastered, that's all I really have to say about that. But uh, with regards to Homeworld 2, I mean, you had the Keepers, and the Keepers were like a really annoying enemy. I mean, they were supposed to resemble the Swarmers from uh, Homeworld 1, and you can, and they're really annoying to fight because the Swarmers from Homeworld 1 are, I, I, actually, I don't know why the music just stopped here. I, like, they just ran out of music. This is what I mean, it's just, this is the production quality. It's like, I'm watching the, I'm actually watching the credits. And it's just like little things like that. It's like, oh, we're we're now watching in silence. Sorry, they were supposed to resemble the uh, swarmers, and uh, like the swarmers were much more interesting and, and fun to fight because they were more mysterious, kind of in their own right. Uh, and and this they're kind of they're just boring as hell because they just they're, they're invulnerable. I honestly I don't really like the 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 fleet composition of this game because you never made like ion cannon frigates were garbage it's all about the them torpedo frigates and then you just make all the destroyers like honestly this is a game of just capping out your your unit caps and then kind of like oh you have three battle cruisers but for some reason uh fucking makan has mastered the art of making five of them so because i just like money was never an issue uh it's just it was pretty bad and the auto balancing was pretty bad too to be honest. I wish they did not bring that over. Because I knew that was a thing in Homeworld 2. I didn't like it there. I hated it even more here. Because here it was even worse. Uh, the the auto-scaling stuff. I wish that... You know what? Already as it is, this game is not necessarily a true sequel or true remaster of Homeworld 2. Or uh, the last one was number 1-2. They were, they were not true kind of remasterings. They kind of, they did change things. And so I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why didn't they just change the campaign slightly in, in positive ways, you know? Like, you know what? It, I get it. It was kind of, it's kind of a problem when you can like auto harvest all the resources. Like you guys noticed I would never, I would take the resources and I would just, um, I, like I, I, I take the resources and I'd just like, uh, I'd, I, well, sorry, the resource collectors. I would just use them to repair by the end. I would never use them to collect resources. Like, what a great RTS. <laughs> There's no fucking art resource uh, uh, management at all. I never worry about it, because I had so much money. I mean, you could do something like... Like, it's it's it would be feasible for me to understand, like, the mothership has, like, a, a capacity like, limit for resources. Maybe, like, like you can say, like, I don't know, like, like 5,000 or 10,000 RUs or something, and then you can only bring that to the next mission. You know? And... Thus, thus you solve the problem of it being a persistently a persistent single player campaign, but being fucking rich as hell by the end, uh, and 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 thus like literally sh losing ships did not matter to me. It only mattered when I lost like battle cruisers, but I don't think I did lose them. Uh, but like I just had everything queued up on like a, a gazillion uh, ships, and so it'd just be remade right away. So like, eh, who cares? You know, kind of a thing. Uh, and it, it just encouraged really slow. It was a really sloppy RTS in that sense. Um, and they could have they could have improved it, but they decided to keep it relatively same to the gameplay, uh, except when it mattered, which was you know in the, in the UI and the auto scaling. Um, as I said, I would have been fine with the auto scaling, just saying, uh, okay, nice graphics. Uh, I would have been fine if they just removed the auto scaling and just kind of scaled it based upon, okay, you have a maximum fleet size and probably 5,000 RUs and you're going to collect resources. So, you know, there's that stuff. And now there's no main menu music. What the fuck happened here? I don't know. I keep I keep changing my thought. Um, as I said, they could have done a lot better with the campaign and they I think they I think they didn't. Remember, this is version 2.1. Um... I don't know how the multiplayer is. I don't particularly care to try because I, I just, uh, I think I'm just gonna get frustrated because I'm, I was, I, you guys could tell I was getting a bit frustrated by the controls a little bit 
before. I, as I said, it could have been just me, but I have played the shit out of Homeworld 1 and Homeworld 2. Uh, and so I've kind of been going based upon those RTS controls that I'm used to uh, with regards to how to manage the sensors manager and things like that. And I felt it was, it definitely wasn't the same thing. I mean, it's uh, obviously a new engine, but like it just was not doing what I wanted it to. When I would click a button, it would just like kind of do its own thing. When I would click on a ship, it occasionally would not. It would just select the subsystem rather than the main ship. You know, I, I just, uh, I think there's other ways of maybe intended to go through these controls, but I don't know. Because I'm like, I had, I, I had a major amount of issues with regards to how I was uh, trying to select my carriers. Clear all control groups. Control shift minus. Clear selected from control groups. Uh, next tactic, previous tactic. Okay, that would have been useful maybe. Defe I, I felt that defensive defensive for, uh, formations or sorry, def defensive tactics was way, way too aggressive. I don't even know what the difference between offensive and defensive is. Because every time that the defensive ships were under attack at all, or saw a ship, they would chase after it right to like their shipyard. Every single time. It was, it was awful. And then passive, I'm pretty sure, just makes them not attack at all. And then they just die. So I'm like, okay. I've noticed that a lot. Um, as I, I don't know if it was just me or if it was the game, but it was, it was definitely something. Build manager. Because like... Um, they also have uh, shortcuts for this shit. Yeah, so the other thing was like the... I could not select things to queue properly for... Like I want to... Like whenever I want to... Near the end I particularly noticed it because I had like four carriers and I had the shipyard and then like I also had the three battle cruisers and it would actually try and select them to build stuff. And that, and that was a thing in Homeworld 2 as well and it was horrible there. Uh, but I, I had no idea how I wanted to just make, like, select just the carriers. Like, I, I maybe should have made their own control group, but I, even then I don't think that would have worked. Like, it's just a whole bunch of kind of not very intuitive uh, controls at all. Like, it just, I, I, I always felt I was trying to fight with the control scheme rather than, uh, rather than just focus on the game and enjoy the game. Um, because it would always be doing something that I needed to kind of uh, work on. Like they, I, I, I could tell that they were trying to alleviate a lot of the micromanagement that came with RTS games. But I like the micromanagement. But by doing that, they made they forgot a bunch of stuff that like I'm micromanaging things I shouldn't have to. Uh, like I have to select each individual carrier and do all this craft to it. I have to, um, I have to set people the passive to get them to run away from fights and things like that. I don't know. Like, I, I honestly feel if you play the multiplayer, it's just a big lump of ships into against your big lump of ships, and then there's, like, there's no tactics involved with that. Because I think, like, I honestly think that the Corvettes and the fighters are just absolutely useless. Uh, because they get, they just kill themselves. Like, all you have to do is, like, position a bunch of anti-bomber, anti- Corvette stuff behind your main battle group. And then wait for his fighters to just kind of go in and fuck... Uh, fuck on you, and then you just kill on him. Kill him. I don't. I, I. I think this whole rematch thing was just pretty awful. And uh, also, extra missions is still just radio retreat, even though we're in the Homeworld Two uh, campaign here, uh, Homeworld Two thing. I don't. I don't know why. It, it's like a merge of the two. I don't know. You can also play Homeworld One deathmatch, Homeworld Two deathmatch, but it's uh, as far as I know that just changes some of the rules around, kind of thing. So, uh, as I said, I didn't like this remastered thing. Um, actually, there was at one point where I thought I wouldn't even uh, finish it, uh, to be honest. Uh, I kind of was, uh, I was debating it. Um, I kind of just got tired of it, and then, because I, I, I think I was dealing with the auto-scaling was particularly bad in one of the missions. Like, it was just a mess of fighters coming at me all the time. I'm like, I'm like, why do they have, like, four carriers, a shipyard, and... Like, a whole mess of ships. And even the Corvettes and I think, that mission with Sujuk. There was, like, a shit ton of Corvettes. I'm like, why am I playing this? I don't even know why. Um, so I took a week off. But, you know, I, I really hate not finishing stuff. Uh, so this 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 probably also added to my aggravation. Uh, like, things I wouldn't normally get angry at, I got angry at. 
Um, so that's all I'm saying is that I, I, I as I said, I think the entire thing was not very good. Uh, I think it was just very just mediocre. And uh, yeah, Home World Three will come out sometime, and I don't know if I want to touch that to be honest after this. Because this was pretty bad. Um, I mean, as I said, I, I liked I liked Homeworld One Remastered just because I like Homeworld One a lot, and I probably wouldn't have done Homeworld One at all for YouTube if it wasn't for Remastered. Because as I said, it's a little bit slow for in the in the original engine, but in the Homeworld Two engine it's kind of faster. But Homeworld Two Remastered has all the things I hate about Homeworld Two, and and has Remastered on top of it. So that's that's fucking fantastic uh so i guess that's it that's it for the lp as i said i don't i don't know what to do with regards to if i start a game like this and then i hate it in the middle and then like i i i i want to finish it for people who started watching it but at the same time i didn't as i said i wasn't very um i wasn't into the game and so i i, I really hate not finishing stuff and so i don't really know what you guys would have wanted from me otherwise but i did finish it and you know what, I'm actually kind of happy I got to see the last mission, because the last mission was actually the best one out of this entire thing. I mean, in Homeworld 2, it wasn't necessarily the best one, but in Homeworld 2 Remastered, it definitely was here, because it, it was a very pretty level as well, and very nice looking, just because you're just over the planet and stuff, it's really quite nice uh, in terms of that. That's the one positive thing I will say about the campaign, and that's all I really want to ramble about. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, probably something better next. Take care, bye.